This is the real Lucinda Bassett. <laughs> Tonight, um, I want to talk about something that I'm very uh, a big believer in, and I think it's really important right now. We've all gone through this transitional phase together in the last couple of years of COVID. And we've talked about it, you know, at nauseum. I mean, we're all like, like over it. We've talked about it so much. But I think what's important is what's coming next. And I think a lot of people are reevaluating where they're going in life. Maybe you're reevaluating relationships. Maybe you're reevaluating a lot of things. I know I am. And uh, not my relationship. I'm fabulous with that. But, you know, just you, you sit and you and you wonder because maybe you've worked really, really hard on something. I know this is particularly true for, for my children and for some of my friends. It's like, maybe you're working really hard on, on a project or on funding or on a relationship or on having a baby or on a health issue. And you're saying, damn, why isn't this happening? I've done everything right. And I wanna say to you, you know, your right time is coming. And don't be discouraged and, and don't stop believing because even though you don't see it now, and this is where I'm such a big believer in a higher power. And I don't care if you're Jewish, you're Muslim, you're Christian, you know, whatever you are. I, I personally am such a believer in universal energy and your ability to draw what you want to you. But it's, you know, I think what's hard is that you may be sitting there saying, I've done everything right. And I've, I've done everything I'm supposed to do. When is the right time? Why hasn't this happened? Why aren't they giving me the money? Why isn't he asking me to marry him? Why aren't I getting pregnant? Why didn't I get that job? Why didn't I get that you know um, raise? Why didn't I get that promotion? Whatever it is. And you're saying, am I supposed to be with this person? How do I know? And that's when you get all messed up when you start you know, questioning the universe. And that's really important. And you start thinking you have control of everything and that you can make all these decisions without believing that there's a higher power. There's a higher source of energy. Um, there is a purpose for your life. The universe, whatever you're going through right now, I promise you this, the universe is preparing you to be ready. Um, you're not on your own. When the time is right, and I just got off the phone with the client, I've had the most insane couple of days. And I said to him, you know, no, this isn't your person. Um, I, I can tell by the way that you're talking, you're telling me it's not your person. When you're right and when the time is right, your person will come along and you will know it. You won't question it. You won't say, maybe this is my person. Maybe I'm just not in the right place. No, you'll say, oh my God, I know this is my person. The universe will tell you. Um, you're right on schedule. You're right where you're supposed to be. Whatever you're going through right now, the universe is preparing you to be ready. Here's the key. The real test is um, when you don't see what you want to see happening, when you want to see it happen, will you keep and stay in faith? Will you stay in, fa in faith that when you don't see what you want to see happening, that you believe it's still going to come to you? And the example that I can give you, um, yes, COVID taught me not to take our freedom for granted, but it's bigger than that. It's our, our, just our freedom for choice, our, our freedom for life, our freedom to, whether you're 65, 75, or 25, to just be able to get out there and drive your car and, and go for a walk and kiss someone and go dancing, you know? Um, and, you know, that song, if you get the chance to sit it out or dance, I hope you'll dance. I love that song. And there's so much, much truth to that. Sometimes the universe waits on purpose because whatever it is that you want for various reasons, the timing isn't right. And so we sit back and we say, gee, I put everything in place. You know, I know, I know, you know, that I'm ready for a serious relationship, but that person's not coming along. Or I know that I'm ready for this, this, you know, investor to come into my business, but they're just not, it's not happening. Um, I know that I'm ready to have a baby and I'm not getting pregnant. Well, maybe that's because there is a bigger picture. Maybe the timing isn't quite right. And that's when the universe, I mean, you can say it's God and you can say it's the universe. It's one and the same. I don't want to offend anyone by talking about God, but sometimes the universe knows that your timing isn't right yet. So if it's not happening yet, it's not because it's not meant to happen. It's because the timing's not right. And the real test comes when you're sitting there going, damn, 
I'm really impatient. I want this to happen now. And it's not happening. And then you say, all right, I'm going to sit in faith. And I'm going to know that the universe has my back. That's that book that I love so much by Gabrielle Bernstein. But, and she's a big believer in this as well. There's a lot of people that, that, that you know, talk about this type of walk. So the universe has a right time. And the universe kind of has this in place for you. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't be out there working and doing research and preparing yourself for when whatever it is you want actually comes to fruition. But the universe has already set the right time. So wait with expectancy. Don't wait with a negative attitude. Wait with expectancy. Um, There will be opportunities. Don't get discouraged. Keep your faith and trust. Live with this right time mentality. Um, Not that it's never going to happen. You need to live with this attitude of, you know what? It's absolutely going to happen. I know this is going to happen. It may not be happening right now, but in fact, I'm so certain that it's going to happen that I can relax and have faith. And then this is when you have this, you know, unconditional faith, and then it's up to you what you're going to do with it. You can go into the wait, that waiting period with anger, anxiety, worry, and fear, alcohol, anti-anxiety medication, too much food, or you can go into this waiting period with faith, patience, and exercise. This is so important, what I'm talking about right now, and belief in yourself and the universe that whatever it is, is coming to you. But here's the important thing. Do you know what you want? So at first, you, I, and I encourage you all tonight when we get off this Zoom call to sit down and, and write a paragraph with maybe six bullet points about what do you want? Do you want more energy? Do you want more, you know, um, intimacy? Do you want more financial success or freedom, independence? Uh, do you want an intimate relationship with someone? Um, do you want to have a child? I mean, do you want to write a book? Um, do you want to go back to school? Do you want better health? Do you want to drink less? I mean, I don't know what you want. So you have to define what it is, and then you have to do the work to get you there. And then you have to get talked into a belief system in your brain that the universe has your back. And and don't get talked out of your dreams. Um, Don't stop believing. Don't let the naysayers convince you that what you want is never going to happen. That is BS. What you want, you can absolutely achieve, but you have to believe And you have to believe that there's a higher power. And sometimes your timeline isn't in line with the universe. So trust where you are. Know that you're where you're supposed to be. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep working on what you're working on. And have faith that the right time is coming. Um, I I just love this. You know, there will be a turnaround when all of a sudden you'll say, wow, I just met the person that can connect me with this person that can help me get on Instagram or TikTok. I just, you know, oh my God, I just saw this thing on, you know, in social media. I'm going to pick that phone up and call them and maybe that will lead me to the next person. Um, So the right people are coming. The right situations are coming. The right energy is coming. And all of this creates synchronicity. And synchronicity is when you're prepared. It's like you have laid the groundwork. You know what you want. You're as prepared as you can be. And then all of a sudden, synchronicity happens and you start to meet people and things start to happen and things start to come your way. And it's when preparation meets opportunity. People can talk you out of this, though. People can talk you out of your of your dream. People can talk you out of your miracle. And that's when you have to back up and say, hey, you know what? Listen, I could have been talked out of my my books and my infomercial and Everything. I, get, I, I cannot tell you, look, you know, I, the, the one example I want to give you, and I was going to give it earlier, is that, you know, as many of you know, I've met the most beautiful man and I'm engaged at 65 years old. And can I tell you how many people I know, how many friends I have that are my age that would love to meet the love of their life at 65, that would love to find the kind of relationship that I have at even 45, at 35. And, and I had so many people and a lot of my girlfriends are like, oh, you know what? 
65 year old men want 45 year old women. No, they don't. <laughs> not all of them. Um, and you've got, it's not about that anyway. It's about what you want. It's about, about getting really, really clear about the kind of person that you want to bring into your energy space. And then you will draw that person into you. So believe that everything is possible. Believe there, that, that the universe has your back. Believe that miracles are in your future. When it is your right time, that's what we're talking about. When the time is right, the universe will make it happen. So open your eyes, open your ears. You have the most powerful force. The universe, the energy of God is at your fingertips. You are so close to stepping into new levels of your identity, of your destiny. And, and there's been such a shift in the world right now. There are so many open doors and open windows, power, miracles, people are about to be released into your life. Um, and you're sitting there going, yeah, but it's not happening right now. Okay. So instead of being frustrated and angry and anxious, step back and meditate, do your breath work, listen to me, pull out your tapes, read a book, buy a book and believe. Don't stop believing. Remember that song? Don't stop believing. I love that song. Hold on to that feeling. Anyway, um, influence, resources, people, your talent. The key is to keep doing what you've been doing and what you need, what you need to do to get there. And then know that dreams and miracles are coming your way. The universe is lining up. The universe sits back and waits for you to show the universe that you have prepared, you've done the work, and that you're ready. And I know it really, really sucks when you've done the work and you are prepared and you have these really big things and you think, this is it. This is my opportunity. God's going to bring me what I've been praying for. And then it doesn't happen. And you go, oh, my God, that sucks, man. I'm losing faith. But see, that's just the one thing that you don't want to lose. And I can tell you, it's happened to me over and over and over again. And by the way, you know what? Your right time is coming, but maybe not in the way that you think. Sometimes it comes in a totally different door. It comes through a totally different person. So when one door closes and you go, oh, my God, that was it. That's the one thing I wanted more than anything. Sit back, be patient, do your meditation. Do your breath work, use your affirmations and set your intentions and watch and wait and listen and open your eyes because maybe God or the universe is going to bring an opportunity in through a different door. You know, I would tell you, like I, I sold my house by the ocean and I moved to a house by the lake and I sold my house for the lake and I moved into the city and I hated it in the city. And I'm like, why did I do this to myself? And then I got hit by a truck. And then I ended up buying another house back by the ocean. And I'm like, ah, and I, I threw away a lot of money and I felt like I wasted a lot of time. But you know what? That one little several month period when I moved into the city that I hated, I met Murray. And I would never have met Murray if I wouldn't have moved into the city. And so that one little window of me moving into the city, which was the one place I never thought I'd meet anybody, I met this beautiful man. And, and it, it changed my life. And it all happened in a weird way that I, you know, sometimes when you stop trying so hard and you relax a little bit and you trust the universe, things happen, doors open and things come your way and you'll scratch your head and go, oh my God, I never saw that coming the way that it did. I am totally blown away. Your right time is coming, and maybe not in the way you think. Maybe a closed door is an open window to something bigger. Maybe the end of the wrong relationship is the beginning of the right one. Maybe that didn't work out for a reason. This is where trust comes in, and your patience, your stability, and your joy in the haves, not focusing on the have-nots, is where the universe tests you. Positive, patient energy. And you're continuing to set your intentions and clarify what you want. That's your journey. That's how you reach your goal. That's what will keep you on track. And that's what will bring your right time to you. So make your life happen. Instead of asking yourself, what's wrong with you? 
tell yourself and remind yourself what's right with you. Um, it's the promise of provision, protection, purity. Um, it's the promise of prosperity. Um, it's the promise of prolonged days, prolonged days and perpetuity and, and, and a life of happiness. It's, it's the promise of, of peace and patience and, and, and living a life every day, get up knowing that, you know what, I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm doing everything. And I really want to say this. Um, this is so important. I'm doing everything by the grace of God. And what, what do I mean to that? Um, live, live well, live right, live with integrity. You know, if something in your gut says that wasn't right, what I just did, that wasn't right, what I just said, then fix it, make it right. You know, because good things do come to good people. And um, when, when, um, when God blesses your life, it's such a, a gift and you really need to show and I God and the universe to me as one. And I, I have all these notes, but um, don't waste your time trying to please people that aren't believing in you. Don't try to change your critics. Don't even respond. Don't even validate them. Don't give them any power. Um, some people aren't going to be behind you. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's family. It doesn't matter if it's your friends. Hang out with people who believe in you. Um, the best response you can have to naysayers and negative people is show them by example that you're going to lead with grace, that you're going to believe in yourself, that you're going to make your dreams come true. You don't have time to waste with negative people. You don't have time to waste on negative energy. You don't have time to waste on negative thinking. You are too powerful, too blessed, and too amazing to spend your time exhausting yourself with naysayers. And you can't be a naysayer. You have to be your biggest fan, okay? And, 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 and this is really an important message tonight because... Um, so many times, you know, we, we do get discouraged and we feel like, why isn't my life happening the way I want it to? Why aren't I happy? Um, why aren't all the things that I've been working for happening for me? Well, I would say to you, your life is where it should be. It is working out the way that it's supposed to. If you're not happy, that's your fault. And, um, and if you can relax and be patient and really try to get to the bottom of why you're not happy. And because maybe the universe wants you to be happy right where you're at before it moves you forward. Because um, when God promotes you and gives you more influence, however that works, maybe you're, you know, maybe you're, maybe you want to write a book. Maybe you want to become more powerful in social media. Maybe you want to get a promotion. You know, when God promotes you and gives you more influence, that's a very powerful gift. And you're like, well, what do you mean by that, Lucinda? I mean, you know, if God gives you the gift of a, of a promotion in a job, if God gives you the gift of earning more money, if God gives you the gift of a baby, oh my God, what a gift. You know, if God gives you the gift of being an parent to an adult child, if God, look, look at the gift God's given me. I'm Lucinda. I don't know why, but God has given me the gift to help give you, um, motivation and inspiration and ideas. What a, what a powerful gift that is for me. I better be careful and use it with grace and good intention. And so you need to ask yourself, am I worthy of the gift of promotion from the universe? Am I sitting here ready and worthy to use that in good cause and good faith? Am I deserving of what I'm asking for? And will I use it with grace and good intention. And so I think this is a very um, important session because we're all kind of sitting and we're waiting. And I know a lot of people have worked really hard to make some big things happen as a result of transformation that they've been through due to this whole COVID experience. And I'm telling you, if you haven't found it yet, it's not because it's not going to happen. It's because it's not your right time. If you take nothing else away from that, I want you to know that you're going to sit back in a couple of months in astonishment and joy and gratitude and go, 
wow, the universe has a really interesting way of working. And what Lucinda said was true. And my dreams are going to be my reality. And I am going to go by the grace of God, astonished uh, devotion to a higher power. Um, because what God is doing right now is showing all of us, and I, I do believe this, you know, as a, as a planet and, and as a world and as a, as a country and as a community and as a family, that, you know, we're all vulnerable. We're all just human. And, and, and it's up to us how we choose to react and respond to negative energy around us and how we want to treat other people. And, and, and where's your faith? Where is your faith? You know, God must be looking down. You remember that song, God is watching you. God's looking down going, where's your faith? Where's your faith in me? I need to know that you can be brought to your knees and that you still believe that there's a higher power and that you are the higher power, that that power is in us. And just this time that we spend on these Tuesday nights, you know, it makes me feel so good. And I hope it makes you feel good. And so the message tonight is your time is coming. Your right time is coming. And to stay in faith and know, keep doing everything you're doing, keep setting your intentions and working on your goals, knowing that absolutely 100% certainty that your right time is coming. And, and that's the message. And if you believe this, you're going to, you're going to be sitting here with amazement, joy, wonder, and abundance and wow moments the key is to trust while you're waiting and know with absolute certainty that your right time is coming. So until next time, which is two weeks from now, I hope you'll follow me on Facebook and Instagram and follow me on my podcast, Let Go With Lisa, mm -hmm. and make it a great week or two weeks to be you. I can't wait to hear some of your miracles and that some of those things that you wanted are coming your way through you know, doors and windows that you never expected. Okay. All right. Keep the faith.